Hi, and welcome to another Terranscapes Rapid Fire Critique. Uh, if you're new to this uh, series, uh, you can send me a photo of a piece of your terrain, and I will slip it into the queue, and I'll give you five minutes of my thoughts on it, uh, things that can be worked on and things that are looking great already. I, I, so I look maniacal when I say that. Um, so, as uh, always, I've set my five-minute timer here, so uh, let's uh, jump off. So Michael sent me some pictures of a uh, house that he scratch built, and because they're all of the same house, we're gonna we're gonna flip through a couple of these pictures real quick so you can get an idea of what we are looking at. Um, and uh, impressively, he commented that this house took him six hours to build. I that's impressive to me. Ooh. Oh, I like these shingles. All right, well, we're going to keep going through. I'm going to take a look at them all before I really comment. Are we at the end? Oh. Okay. All right. Oh, oh, look. And then the last one shows it in progress. Oh, that's kind of nice to see. Because um, I had thought, actually, you had glued on the bricks. But um, it looks like you've cut up cubes glued them to the walls and then spackled over them and uh oh look at he's oh this furniture was not included in the final version though i'm sure it will be added at some point though he did say uh this was to be uh playable as um you know role playing so an interior was important um so we have a, a look at the foundational structure using um a cardstock like cereal uh board uh, cereal board to uh, make the foundation of it and then adding the uh, structures, the bricks, I should say, around that. So this is probably a great photo just to kind of take a look at in general. Things that are working well, I think. I think that the roof looks great. Uh, I'm going to assume, because the picture upside down on the under construction, that these are also serial card uh, cut out and glued in place, but... I can't tell if they're individually. They might not be. If they are, you've done a nice job of sort of chipping out the corners here. Sometimes when people do this, they'll do it as a strip, and then they'll, oh, yeah, these look like they're individually laid in six hours. Um, so I like it. Uh, if I had two tips on the roof that I think would help uh, would be one is to find a hole where these shingles are supposed to be. Um, there's no gaps here that would indicate where these shingles have slid out from. So, you know, leave off uh, a shingle here and leave off a shingle here to give it a look that these have fallen out. But I like the loose shingles. It, again, it breaks up this, what is otherwise a very large, flat, monochrome area. Um, well, not monochrome, actually. You've got some nice highlighting in there. A little, little bit, you know. The other thing I would like to see would be some kind of a trim here. I a little piece of of styrene maybe or or something or maybe um some trim shingles that bend over and then stack anyway just to hide that edge. It would just really make what's already a really nice roof into a really great roof if you did that. Um chimney you know, there's not, not too much to say here, except I, I would like a hole there. Um, it's just me, though. Uh, you could, you know, cut it out and stick it in. I think, though, that it would be nice to see the chimney in a smaller brick size than the bricks of the house. Um, because, you know, typically that would happen. Although, you get to play with it here if you're just going to pretend that it is... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That it's just plastered over. So that might be a fair way to call it. Ooh, good. I'm glad I looked at this. Um, I think that you've done such a nice job laying out the bricks for this and the irregularity I think works. I would like to see you just touch back a little bit on the spackle or brush it out in some of these because you've done all that painstaking work to put all of these bricks in individually, these big stones. And then like right in here, right, we lose that individuality and you, you did all that work. Um, and I think if you just brush that out a little bit, it would make those show and then it would make these stand out that much more. And you'd have that really nice, uneven, sort of very rustic looking, um, uh, you know, appearance to the, the walls. You mentioned in your email um trouble with the vines vines are i don't know they're always tricky and if you're gonna do them quick this is not a bad way to go 
run some glue, run some flock. If I were to change the, the, the technique that you've done here, however, is to um, start it a little wider and then have it get really thin at the end. So you're going to really need to do a very fine, thin your glue, draw it out with a paintbrush into little tiny lines. In fact, it's best, I'm just about to run out of time, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish on this one here. Um, and run it right along some of these lines, right? Because the, the vines are going to follow cracks where it's easy. I know I'm over time. Follow these cracks where it's easy to get a hold of. Uh, so try that, but you could even maintain the same flock. Um, this is a good texture, I think, for vines. And when you do that, I think you're going to really see them come to life. Um, and even start a couple over here and just have them be, you know, short. And that will help to, you know, give it like, this isn't the only vine, right? There's a few others. And maybe right here, you've added a little bit of weathering under the window. Like this is a wet area and maybe they've been growing a little easier there. Plus running some vines up along these windows would help hide some of the irregularities and, uh, you know, mask the problems and make the wall look better. I always say whenever I have a problem, the customer always wins because I'm going to fix it. And usually when I fix it, it's more work, but it'll look better in the end. So one tiny bit of thought before I leave is um, a windowsill. Something like that right there would just add a ton uh, because it just sets that window out from the wall. Um, a sill would be great, but you know, the, the, uh, a full sill, I should say, would be great. But um, just a little sill at the bottom here would just be so much for it. And I know uh, oh, I'm going to have to set, maybe I have to do this as six minutes. You asked um, very quickly about doing a hinge for a door. Um, here, here's the issue with hinges for doors. I, I don't really do them well. <laughs> and, um, the easiest way, okay, wait a minute. The easiest way would be to have the door swing inward and get some dollhouse hinges and you can put them on the inside straight up. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, and you could just glue the dollhouse hinges in, or um, sometimes they have little brass tacks that you can stick into the material if it's uh, strong enough to accept it. Then you could just take some balsa strips, slice them up, do, 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 glue them together, put in a couple cross pieces, and uh, put a little uh, wire door handle here, put the hinges on, then you can just push this open inside. Just make sure that you don't have furniture inside blocking the door. All right, well, that was uh, just over five minutes. Terranscape's rapid fire critique. That's fast for me. Um, if you want to submit your own photo, there will be the address here in the bottom of the corner. There's also the address there for the Q&As. If you want to submit a question, once I get a few of those, I'll queue them up and I'll answer them. Um, of course, there's the link to the uh, Patreon site where I do post some public uh, monthly columns. And I'll be getting a monthly column up if I haven't done it by now seeing this it will be very soon but it will probably be one before this and one after because i'm late this month march and i'll probably try to be early next month april so go there check it out it's public access you know um and uh, i think you'll find something there hopefully that you will find useful so thank you once again for joining me always genuinely appreciate it and i hope you'll come back uh and see me me soon because you know I'll be back soon with another Terranscapes rapid fire critique.